Good show, Steve, Andy, Judy, congratulations. Uh, for our next presentation, I'd like to invite Alan and Larry to the stage. Alan Kemp is the executive director of the Iowa League of Cities. And Larry Nagel is retired and is the retired director of government relations for the ECIA, um, the East Intergovernmental uh, Association. Uh, and they are here to present uh, another very special award. So with that, I'll turn it over to Larry. Thank you, I'm very glad to be here. It is an honor for me to introduce to you the next inductee into the League of Iowa City's Hall of Fame. Few people pour their entire lives into a passion that motivates them with the desire to help others grow and strengthen their communities and improve their organizations. This inductee has continued to exemplify that passion and desire for her community and the city for more than 40 years. She exudes energy each year. She attends the league conference and exhibits many years serving as a presenter or panelist, and every year donning a very attractive costume for the theme of the event. <laughs> she is the social bug at the conference with her upbeat and positive energy and a willingness to pour into others and mentor through engagement and conversation. She has many accomplishments over the years. She has been actively involved in state-level panels and discussions on Iowa's liquor law reform discussions. She has ample experience regarding how the state liquor licensing system has worked and should work for small towns all across the state of Iowa. Her input has helped change state administrative rules and she provided input behind the scenes for the 2018 legislation that allowed Iowa's breweries to expand their businesses. One of her great passions has been as an advocate for the city's and municipal fire and police retirement summit discussions. She has lobbied for reform that is both equitable for the cities and the employees. There are few in the state that understand the nuances of Chapter 411 of the Iowa Code and fewer that truly comprehend the lasting impact of this system on all municipalities. Her determination to continue to learn and add to her skill sets is still present in the twilight of her career. She continues to engage in new learning, professional interactions and involvement in state level and league activities. Serving on the Iowa Workers Compensation Association Board of Trustees is but another example of her continued desire to share her knowledge and make things better. She has been a student of the profession, always learning and engaging. More importantly, she has become a teacher of the craft, sharing her experiences and skills with many other people. Her impression on Decora, the league, and the state in municipal circles will leave a lasting impact. For her commitment, her contributions, and more, I'd like to invite Wanda Hemsath to the stage to receive her Hall of Fame plaque from Alan Kemp. Congratulations. Uh, this is one of the best things we do. Uh, normally this would have been uh, done at the league's annual conference uh, during our uh, evening award banquet. And we always try to surprise uh, the individuals and I think we've succeeded again. Um, and that's probably the, uh, the best part of the, uh, the induction ceremony. And so uh, we're just happy to be here. We're happy we surprised you. Uh, couldn't gather all together like we would normally do, but we'll, we've done it virtually and we've all come out anyway, so it, it makes it just as special. So, congratulations.
I'm at loss for words. <laughs> Judy, I mean, you, she had a heads up. <laughs> and I can't believe you guys came four hours for this, and, and Chad, you and me are talking <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. I, there are so many people who do, do so much more than I do. Um, but I, wow, wow, I don't even know what to say. It's been, a, it's been a wonderful 40 years. And like Judy, they're gonna kick me out of the door <laughs> one of these times. But anyway, thank you. Thank you all for being here. And I, Ronnie, you're not even supposed to be in town. <laughs> And I don't know where you are, we're all hiding. Because <laughs> there's Ann and Vic, and I think Davis and Shirley are back there, my brother and sister-in-law. Um, anyway, thank you all very much.